so hello guys and welcome once again to a new video in today's video we will try to fix uh, this uh, Nespresso machine it's called an Nespresso U machine as you can see here the water is coming out of the wrong way so it's not coming through the, the designed hole this is due to a broken nozzle and I will show you the, the actual process of repairing this. So we are here in the in the workshop. First of all, we will have to to disassemble this uh, unit to work on it. As you can see, we are working on a on a, an espresso machine made by Krups. The model is XN250. In order to open up, we have two screws. These are two torque screws. The torque bit has a hole in the middle, so be careful if you have this, this uh, torque bit. If not, you will have to buy it. After that, the, the cover is sliding up. Just be careful not to rip off any, any cables that are on the side. A little bit of air just to remove the dust. first part will be to remove the nozzle cover. This is held in place with uh, two clips, one on each side. Next part will be to remove the button cover. There are two clips on each side. Afterwards, you have to remove also the cable. Then we have to remove the nozzle. Actually, this is the part that it's, it's broken. There are two clips, one on top and one below. Also, we will have to wash this part. So after washing this part, it has the broken uh, clips there. So either way you, ca you can order it or you can repair it. In my country it's really hard to, to find this part so I will decide to repair it. I decided to use a metal uh, rod for, for, the, for the clips. I cut it to exactly 2 cm and I will use a two part adhesive, strong adhesive to uh, glue it in place. This will take approximately 24 hours to cure. And it will make a really hard bond. After applying the glue, I centered the, the metal rod and I let, let it 24 hours to cure it. This is the second day. I also apply a small coat of black acrylic paint just to protect the rod from rusting. Now it's the part where we reassemble everything 
be careful to snap in place the bo both uh, clips, one below and one above. This has to be really, really secure in place, otherwise you will have leakage. Then the button cover. It only snaps in place. Then reconnect the cable. Okay, and let's test the unit. As you can see, now it works perfectly. Then let's put the nozzle cover. Simply snaps in place. And the unit cover slides back in as we remove it. The only remaining part is to screw the two remaining screws. So the unit is finished, repaired. Let's make the final test. So as you can see, we have a, a finally working unit. So thank you guys for, for watching this uh, tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more video like this, please subscribe. Have a great day. Bye bye.